Let's continue our discussion about、um, the relationship between the geographical location and economic performance. Here, we're showing you、uh, two maps of、uh, geographic location or geographic distribution of diseases. The first one is about malaria heat. As you can see here,、um, the red area represents a high risk of malaria heat estimated by CDC, and the orange area is the moderate ones. Okay, as you could find that here, most of the、um, red and orange, even the dark blue areas. Are located in the tropical area. Okay. In the second one, we want to show you here is about dengue fever.、Um, again, it's、um, the countries or areas where the dengue has been reported. As you can see here, most of them are. In the tropical areas. Okay. Now, do you know why? Like, why the tropical area always suffers more from these diseases? The most important reason here is about the climate, because in the tropical area, they have the heat, they have the humidity. Okay, they get a lot of rainfall, and they also have、um, a relatively high temperature compared to the other parts of the world. Now, the heat and the humidity combined provides the ideal environment for mosquitoes. Okay. And mosquitoes transmits the virus, the bacteria,、um, so it will get humans sick, okay, or infected. That's why in the tropical area we see a relatively higher mortality rate. People get sick or even died from these diseases. Okay. Now, how could that affect economic per,、uh, performance? The first possible way is when you get sick, you won't be that productive, right? In other words, these,、um, you know, the higher risk of、uh, these getting these di diseases will reduce the quality of the working. Force、uh, population in these areas, okay, or the economies in these areas.、Um, the second possibility、um, could be, for example, here if we again do the, the seminar examples,、um, like the the fishermen examples. If we think about the two moms, okay.、Um, One live in northern Europe, the other live in West Africa. Okay, again, for four or five hundred years ago. Now, who?、Uh, suppose both of them wanted like uh, three uh, grown-up children in their life. Okay, so that's the goal:、uh, three grown-up children.、Uh, who between the two? Would have to have more babies, and why? Pause the video and give yourself a, a one or two minutes to think about this. You would find that the West African mom had to have more babies because of the high mortality rate. Okay. We find that in the tropical area, a lot of infants, babies, died from these diseases. So, if you want the 
uh, three grown-up children, you probably need to have five or even six babies. But、um, the mom living in northern Europe is exposed to less amount of the risks, so she probably needs to just have three or four babies. How that would affect the long-term economic growth or performance? The first way is. To think about the female labor force or working force,、okay? uh, the West African mom spends much of her lifetime、uh, getting pregnant, having the baby, raising the baby up. Right? It will take a lot of time and energy, and it will also.、Um, Take a lot of resources doing that, specifically food. Okay, if you know the baby,、um, unfortunately, die, for example. Okay, in all of this time, energy, and resources spent on the baby would be just wasted from the perspective of economic performance. But again,、um, the mom in Northern Europe. Would not or is less likely to have that kind of risk. Okay, so that could be one、um, possible ways. You know how these um, um, higher risk of diseases would be related to economic growth. Another way、um, this could affect economic growth is through their Investment in education. Suppose you were the West African mom. Would you like to invest on your kids? If you do, you have to think about this investment would be very risky, because at least some of your kids will die before they make it to adulthood. Okay, so as we already said, the food you use to feed the baby, the time, the energy. Now, there's one more thing, which is the resources you spend educating your babies, your 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 kids, could be wasted as well. So that will make this West African mom less likely to invest in her kids. Again, the mom in Northern Europe would think in a different way, because it's very likely、uh, her kids will make it to adulthood. So get them better educated; they can be more、uh, skillful. They could be better, uh, uh, more productive, right? So she is more willing to、uh, make the educational investment. In the long run, that will make a huge difference、uh, in terms of their、um, educational attainment or the quality of their labor force, and eventually the、um, different levels of their income. So here、uh, we talk about several interesting explanations. For、um, the relationship between the geographical location and economic performance, okay, and、um, as we emphasized before, here when we think about the geographical location, we don't have to be bothered with the、uh, reverse causation, because、uh, if we can、uh, find the evidence about this relationship. Then we would be confident,、uh, saying that the causation should go from the geographic location to economic performance. Okay, because you cannot say that、um, you know when two countries become richer, then they geographically becomes closer. It doesn't make sense, right? All right. In the next video, 
we're going to continue our discussion about the influence of the geographic location upon economic growth.